Hi folks, today, I've got an introduction to Arduino plotting with Meguno link for you. Let's get started. The Arduino IDE serial plotter is pretty good for basic plotting and quick debugging, but you quickly run into its limitations. Meguno link has two plot visualizers, a time plot and an XY plot. Our time plots like Arduino's serial plot, showing values against time. Our XY plot shows one data value against another. Both give you much greater control over the appearance and behavior of plots. You can set series colors, change axis limits, use multiple axes or separate plots for different data, view summary stats, use cursors to read values, and export plot data or images to the clipboard or a text file. Check out our user interface video if you're not familiar with Meguno Link visualizers. I'll put a link in the description below. We've built a library to send data and commands to Meguno Link from your Arduino sketch. I'll link to it in the description. Once you've got the library installed, plotting from your Arduino sketch is as easy as including the Meguno Link library, creating a plot variable, and then calling its send data method. Here I'm generating a sine wave for simplicity, but you can send numeric data from any sensor or measurement to Meguno Link in the same way. Finally, I have a delay at the end to make sure the serial channel isn't overwhelmed. Jump over to Meguno Link and start a new project with the plotting template. Select the right COM port. Open the connection. And the data starts to flow onto the plot. Add another series by calling send data with a different series name. You can see the serial messages that the sketch is sending in the monitor visualizer. Meguno links extracting the data from these special messages. We call it the brace protocol because all commands for Meguno link to process are surrounded by braces. Our library automatically generates the messages when you call its methods, so you don't really have to worry about the format. All this data can clog up the monitor window though, so check out our message monitor visualizer to create a cleaner message stream. Let's look at some of the plot settings available in Meguno Link. My favorite is run mode. Run mode locks the end time to the current time, so new data appears on the right while old data scrolls out of view. And you can select the duration visible. All the data is still there though. Just zoom out. Turn off run mode to zoom in for a closer view. Change a series appearance by selecting it from the drop down. You can set the line and marker styles and their color and size. Open the plot properties dialog to change titles and axis limits. To use the data from the chart in another program, you can export it to a text file or onto the clipboard. Then import it for more analysis. Okay. That's covered the most common tools in our plot visualizers. Check out our online help for more advanced features such as the summary table, cursors, and importing data. Many of the plot properties can also be changed using commands sent from your Arduino sketch. For example, you can set titles, change series properties, and clear one or all the series on a plot. Series styles can even be included with data simply by adding formatting parameters. The code sample panel provides more examples and easy access to our online reference. You can send data to different chart visualizer windows using channels. Channels let you control the data and commands each visualizer processes. They are available for most visualizers. Create a channel by supplying a name when you create the visualizer variable. So here, I'm using these two time plot variables, created with different channel names, to send the sine wave signal on one channel and the cosine wave on another. Back in Meguno Link, I'll start a new project using the plot template. Then add a second plot so we have one for each channel. Meguno Link discovers new channels automatically, so I'll set up and open the connection. 
In the visualizer, use the channel filter to select which channels are processed by each plot. I'll select one channel for each, but a visualizer isn't limited to a single channel. Use the channel filter for fine control over how MagunoLink presents your data. By the way, the default channel is used when a name isn't supplied when the visualizer variable is created in your Arduino sketch. And you can edit the list to pre-populate channels or remove old ones. So far we've looked at time plots, but MagunoLink also has an XY plot visualizer. It is very similar to the time plot, but instead of MagunoLink automatically using time for the x-axis, your Arduino sketch sends both x and y values for an xy plot. Easily create a new project with an XY plot using the template. Sending data from your Arduino sketch works like the time plot, but this time use an XY plot variable and include both X and Y values when you call send data. Plot commands for setting styles and labels are just the same. Here I've created a nice Lissajou pattern from trig functions, but you can send any numeric data to make Unilink plots. That about wraps up this introduction to plotting with MigUnilink. Please like and subscribe to help others find our content. And if you like the plot of this video, you might also enjoy this one on installing MigUnilink's Arduino integration. Or this one on custom interface panels for your next Arduino project. Have a great day, see you next time.